All right. You've talked me out of using Luis's face as a punching bag, but I'm still going to give him a piece of my mind. No, Don't Ethan. try and talk me out of this, Sheridan. He's got no right to try using you. Let me do it. I mean, if anyone should read him the riot act, it should be me. Are you sure you're up for a confrontation with him? Yes. I don't know exactly what I'm going to say, but something will come to me. If you say so. Look, you've spent enough time with me today. I'm sure you want to be with Gwen. Well, she'll understand. Well, at least tell her that I'm sorry for keeping you from her. And that I'm really happy for both of you. We both know that. And I hope you find someone as right for you as Gwen is for me. Not half as much as I do. Now go on. Get out of here. You know something? Gwen's not expecting me until later. What do you say we go to the book cafe and grab a coffee? You've got yourself a date. <laughs> I feel like Cinderella. <laughs> Maybe it's not too late for Ethan and me after all. Hey, Beth. Hey, Sheridan. How you doing? Okay. Um, can I have two coffees, please? Sure. Come up. Hey, I'll get it. Oh, thank you. You know what? I forgot my address book. We'll go home and get it. It's not there. I left it next door at the youth center. I'll be right back. Well, are you sure you want to go over there? And what if Luis is there? Well, I didn't see his car when we passed by. I'm sure he's probably out on patrol. I'll be right back. Hmm. Maybe fairy tales can Ethan. Hey, Teresa, what's up? Oh, funny you should ask. I heard there could be a budding romance involving our two families. Well, you heard wrong. That's never gonna happen. 